How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some really unsettling content that's being shared on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. This footage was initially caught during a live stream by paranormal investigators Sean and Cody for their Instagram, The New Reality 11. The stream begins with the investigators explaining that they're in an abandoned building somewhere in the deserts of Idaho. I don't know where we're at. We are, we're in the middle of the desert and we found another abandoned location. Got a knock right where that was. <laughs> yeah. They claim that as soon as they arrived, they heard strange voices and banging sounds coming from empty rooms. Yeah. And it's got a creepy vibe to it, right? We came in, we were getting knocks, and right. we heard the voice in the other room. Yeah, and then those weird K2 hits you on the Eddie. Yeah. The clip shows them exploring room after room of the derelict building. This place is massive, guys. Like, it's crazy. More than half an hour into the stream, the pair of investigators find a mysterious hatch, leading to a small basement. Inside the room, they discover an old children's swing set among the debris. Stomach. How creepy. Look at that child's swing, bro. The ghost hunters comment on the eerie vibe of the basement. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, bro. Dude, I, so when we went down to the attic, I got a feeling. It's a bad feeling, but I got a feeling of a little baby in there. I like kept down there. I felt like it was a punishment area, like right. get down there and right. whatever. Towards the end of the stream, the brave investigators decide to take one last peek in the basement. This time, something truly unsettling happens. Take a look. Hi. Is that a ball? There's a ball. Oh, it just moved. Oh my God, it just moved. It just moved. Holy God. As you can see, the ball on the ground seems to move all by itself. There's a ball. Oh, it just moved. Oh my God, it just moved. It just moved. Holy. Cody and Sean are stunned by the strange event. Oh, it just moved. Oh my God, it just moved. It just moved. Holy. God. The strange sounds and whispers and the inexplicable movement of the ball have left viewers wondering if something sinister happened in this building, causing it to become abandoned. Another knock. There's, yeah, right. Could that basement have been used as a punishment room for some poor child long ago? Let that thought sink in for just a moment. Sean and Cody also run a YouTube channel called The New Reality Paranormal. They regularly investigate strange and eerie locations. As always, there's links in the description box below. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That was a, that was a knock, right? The following video posted to TikTok by username voided.1 is without a question one of the strangest and most unsettling videos you'll see in quite some time. The short clip comes from an unknown source, but some viewers think it originated in Peru. It shows a woman looking at something in the corner of a room. Watch what unfolds. <laughs> As you can see, a mysterious shadow begins to grow out of the corner of the room. It pulsates in and out of view. The woman then proceeds to tell whatever this strange thing is that she's not afraid of it and orders it to leave the building immediately. She even tries to kick the shadow. The video ends soon after and everybody involved was unharmed. But even still, it definitely makes you wonder what exactly this woman was dealing with. What is this strange shadow? If it's a spirit, is it friendly or evil? These are questions that we'll most likely never get answers to.
Similarly, this series of videos posted by Reddit user RUAMYC143 seems to have stumped even the most discerning of skeptics. The first clip sent Redditors into a frenzy in an attempt to decipher just what's going on in the three minute video. The uploader explains that she originally purchased the camera situated in her room as she had heard noises and seen odd figures in her house since she had moved in. The resulting clip is filled with odd shadows and dusty anomalies flitting by the camera. At around the 30 second mark, something eerie can be seen. Keep an eye on the doorway. As you can see, a strange figure creeps past the open door. The figure appears to pace back and forth and is seen at multiple points throughout the video. Take a look at the 1 minute 16 mark. You can see the figure pace back across the doorway. Then again at the 1 minute 42 mark. While one of the top commenters floats the idea that the anomalies present in the video are nothing more than floating dust, the comment sets off a wave of similarly minded commenters agreeing with the idea that the contents of this video are alarming. The consensus seems to be that the figure is distressingly humanoid and worryingly seems to hang around the uploader's bedroom. In response to the attention the first clip received, the uploader chose to release a second clip. In an attempt to clarify just what exactly the area outside of her bedroom door looked like. The video shows the angle at which the camera was pointing, as well as the hall directly across from it. In my hallway. Now if you watch where I go. The video demonstrates that the figure would have walked straight into a wall adjacent to the doorway. Here is the wall they walked into. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. This makes it unlikely to be simply a person pacing back and forth, as they would have been blocked by the wall. The wall they walked into. Adding to the cavalcade of supernatural activity surrounding the home, this third clip seems to further confirm the presence of something odd in the uploader's home. Take a look. What are you trying to find? What do you see? It is well documented through similar videos that cats seem to have an eye for the supernatural. Oftentimes, cat owners will catch their feline companions staring off into space, seemingly looking directly at nothing. While some may dismiss this as unknowable pet behaviour, others seem to take this as confirmation of the ability that cats can see ghosts and other supernatural beings. Thoroughly creeped out by the cat's behaviour, the uploader seems to take the event as proof that she's not the only one to have noticed odd activity in the home. There's something with that wall. That's the same wall that keeps walking into. A fourth post seems to capture the same shadowy figure. This time we're treated to a still frame from one of the video feeds. Take a look. While the still frame is blurry, we can make out a strange shadowy figure standing in the middle of the room. The uploader does appear to be genuinely freaked out by the alleged hauntings. And judging by the footage, it would appear something mysterious does indeed appear to be happening in the home. Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. For most horror lovers, ghost tours are typically seen as a tourist trap, with genuine ghostly sightings a rarity. Tourist David Duran expected more or less of the same, on a visit to Savannah's Sorrel Weed House, where suicide and murder have run rampant. While his initial trip proved to be disappointing, the next day, checking the photos he took on the tour, brought his experience into an entirely new, horrifying light. In the first photo Duran took, we see a mirror with other tourists taking pictures of it, as the mirror is supposedly haunted. Nothing looks particularly abnormal in the photograph, along with the second picture which is overexposed. 
It's the third photograph that viewers get a glimpse of something goosebump worthy. The tourists in the picture's right hand side have turned away from the mirror, but one figure's reflection seems to remain. The figure looks to be a young man who is tall, lanky and looking into the camera. Duran explained that the young man reflected in the mirror was not part of the tour group, with his attire looking something like it could have been found in another century. He had checked the timestamps with other members of the group and none had recalled seeing the man on the tour or in any other picture either. After some research, Duran discovered that the Sorrel Weed House is located near an area where a bloody battle occurred during the American Revolutionary War. Could this figure be a ghost of a soldier who has remained forever trapped here on Earth? The owners of Sorrel Weed House are investigating the image, as are several other paranormal specialists. The general consensus seems to be that this is indeed evidence of a ghost. Blake Smith's Gaming Blitz provided a video saga of ghostly wailing coming from his basement. The three videos he uploaded to his YouTube channel give three different accounts of a very mysterious situation that would eventually even involve the police. In the first video, the YouTuber explains that he's alone in his house and hears what he believes are crying noises coming from his basement, possibly of a young woman or child. I hear what sounds like crying coming from the basement. I got a deadbolt for the basement after the last occurrence down there, but... He recently purchased a deadbolt for the basement, he elaborates, after the last time this same situation occurred, hoping to keep whatever was crying out. He states that he even called the police last time, who managed to find wet footprints in the basement after a search of the area. I even called the police, they found wet footprints down there when I let them down there, so I... I don't know what to... Just... He walks down the basement stairs. Listen to what he captured. It sounds like a crying child. The man calls out hello to no reply except more loud wailing. Hello? What the f is that? Hello? He continues to call out as he walks into the basement. He shows viewers a weird substance on the wall that resembles handprints before panning the camera around to an empty room. This next video, which is a little longer, sees the YouTuber explaining the situation again, where he adds that he's heard loud bangs and other eerie sounds coming from the basement recently at unusual times. I don't know what's going on now. I keep hearing bangs and just really weird noises coming from the basement and... He adds that some viewers of his last video recommended that he leave his phone in the basement to see if he could capture anything peculiar. He walks down to the basement once more, moving the camera around to see if he can spot anything unusual, but nothing appears. He then sets his phone down and leaves the room. A minute after he goes, the noises begin. The noises are a mix of screaming, wailing and howling. After a couple of minutes, the man comes back downstairs, looking around and asking if there's anyone there. Hello. There are no more sounds. The man picks up his camera and leaves the room. As he begins to walk up the stairs, he whispers that he just saw a shadow and he flees up the stairs. 
just saw a shadow move away from underneath. Oh, man, I'm out. I'm out. In this last clip, the man walks down the stairs, turning on a bright light as the scary sounds emerge once again. Hello? The man shines a light in the basement, calling out to no response before the video abruptly ends. Oh. These YouTube videos have received tens of thousands of views and mixed responses. Some argue that the sounds resemble those usually found in a recording or video and therefore might be fake. Others swear that there's a spirit haunting the basement, possibly a child who died there long ago. However, the fact that the police allegedly found wet footprints in the basement make this video saga chilling for all who see it. This next eerie image was uploaded to Facebook by Dom Fujarski. Some years ago, this couple were dining at a restaurant that was built on top of an old mine. The property is famous for its mining history and prominently displays memorabilia from its bygone years. The couple had this photo taken while dining in the restaurant. However, in the background of the image, you can make out a transparent man floating right in the middle of the room. He looks to have a long beard and is wearing a white button-up shirt, very similar to a miner's uniform. Dom says this is a snap of the physical photo itself which was developed in a store, meaning it couldn't have been photoshopped. While there's a slight chance this could be double exposure, the man's uncanny resemblance to an old miner certainly makes this a creepy photo. In early October 2022, Reddit user Witwa101 submitted a video of three unidentified flying objects cruising through the sky. The sighting prompted a thorough debate on whether aliens might be surveying our planet. Take a look. Watching that again, you can see one of the objects appears to be lagging behind. It then speeds up and joins the other objects, forming a triangle formation. The poster notes that they were making no sound and cruised overhead in a very smooth motion. The sighting prompted all sorts of theories, everything from classified military aircraft, weather balloons, Starlink, and even alien spacecraft were suggested. The bizarre event caught the eye of a fellow Redditor who decided to take a deeper look at the video. The user, UFOs WW, ran a series of filters over the video and discovered that there appears to be a flapping motion. Their conclusion is that we might be seeing three birds illuminated by the city lights below. So what do you think? Is this just a flock of birds passing overhead? Or is there something more to this sighting? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. Can inanimate objects like toys and dolls become vessels for curses, spirits and other supernatural energies? This is a question many paranormal investigators have grappled with over the years. Now a series of eerie videos over on TikTok are also making viewers question whether dolls really can be haunted. After picking up a doll at a local antique auction, this homeowner decided to make a TikTok account called Haunted Charlotte to document the strange events that had since begun to transpire. Shortly after bringing the doll home, the couple began to find random objects on the floor. The OP's wife immediately suggested that the doll was haunted, but they couldn't say for certain. So they decided to set up a camera to film the doll while they were both out of the house. Take a look at what's being caught on film.
The footage is sped up, but you can see objects begin to move around the house. Then eventually their dog walks in and gets spooked by something. What did he see? A second video shows some more strange activity. When the homeowner puts the antique doll next to his daughter's Cabbage Patch doll, it begins to move around. This is what happens whenever I put her near my daughter's old Cabbage Patch doll. The OP shows that there's no batteries and that he's actually cut the power cord inside of the doll. Yeah, and it continues to move. But wait, there's more. I even cut the wire to see if that would stop it. Is she causing this? In a follow-up video, one commenter suspected that something suspicious might be happening and said that you also need to take out the batteries in the feet of the doll as well. Here he proves that they too have been taken out, yet the doll keeps moving. Wanting to know more, the OP decided to investigate the doll's history. The antique store where he originally bought the doll said it's possible it once belonged to Charlotte, Princess of Wales. Princess Charlotte Augusta of Wales was born in 1796 to parents George, Prince of Wales and Caroline of Brunswick. She was married to Prince Leopold of saxe coburg salfeld in 1816. Sadly, she died on the 6th of November 1817 after giving birth to her stillborn son. It was with great sadness that the nation learned of the death of Princess Charlotte Augusta of Wales. The young princess had only been married for a year and a half and her death came as a great shock to the royal family and the British people. To this day, her exact cause of death remains a mystery. Through a modern medical lens, it's possible she suffered from a number of complications such as pulmonary embolism, postpartum hemorrhage, or a rare blood disorder known as porphyria. Either way, her death was sudden and shrouded in mystery. Spurred on by this tragic snippet of history, the uploader decided to conduct a seance to see if he might be able to contact any spirits that might be attached to the doll. Take a look at what he captured. Uh, no. Even the torch on the desk begins to flicker. In a follow-up video, the OP says he took the doll on vacation with them, much to his wife's dismay. While in the hotel, they set up a camera to film the doll while they were out for the day. Take a look at what the camera captured. tissues begin to flick out of the box, seemingly all on their own. So could this doll really be haunted? As of writing this, this is the last video that's been uploaded to the account. This is definitely an ongoing story and one we'll keep a close eye on. As always, I'll put links to the channel in the description box below. It's well worth watching all the videos in their entirety. Check them out down below. Sometimes we don't even realise something's off or scary about a picture until much later on after giving it another look. That's exactly what happened to Reddit user Sketchnote Sky when her sister sent her an old picture with something unrecognisable and terrifying in the background. A young girl sits at a table in the picture putting some food in her mouth and looking into the camera. Behind her sits the kitchen, dark with no lights on. Right above and behind the girl, viewers can make out a strange black mass. The head of the body is particularly frightening, as viewers can see a white, misshapen face with holes where the eyes should be. The general consensus of the figure in this picture is that it's simply a mix of different pots and pans bunched together, giving the effect of an eerie figure. 
Others suggested a balloon, a cookie jar, a clock and even a cat. Still, others were reminded of certain movie characters such as Jason from Friday the 13th or even the Scream Mask. Could this simply be a case of objects caught strangely in the background? Or could this be a sinister entity making a surprise appearance? For centuries, there's been sightings of the paranormal around Japan. With such a long history and rich culture when it comes to spirits and ghosts, it's perhaps no surprise that there are many videos on YouTube that claim to show scary things occurring in the country. In this video, an individual is exploring an abandoned building somewhere in Japan. Viewers can see a derelict building in disrepair. During one part of the video, the camera operator pans downwards, where viewers can see a square hole in one of the building's walls. Take a look. Initially, there seems to be a small ball of light that appears. But if you replay the footage in slow motion, something sinister becomes apparent. In the dark, you can just make out two bright orange eyes peeking out from the hole. Replayed once again at an even slower speed and with the image brightened a little, viewers can now see a grey face belonging to the eyes, staring at the camera operator. The figure's facial shape resembles that of a man, but the greyish skin and ghoulish eyes seem to take on the shape of something out of this world. Could it be that an evil spirit has taken refuge in this abandoned building and is not happy with an unwelcomed visitor? It's fascinating just how many terrifying things security cameras can capture in the most unexpected of moments. These cameras are almost always installed to prevent burglary or uninvited visitors. But in some instances, such as the following video posted to TikTok by a username Paradolia Paranormal, they're useful for recording possible paranormal events. The video in question shows a couple of people sitting around in an office. Things appear to be relatively normal, but while they're sitting there, something strange happens in the background. Have a look. En medio de una reunión, un objeto. Watching that again, a glass on the table in the far corner of the room seems to move all by itself. Puede lograr que este objeto sea empujado dos veces. ¿Acaso estamos en medio de una actividad paranormal o sencillamente de algo lógico? The movement catches the attention of one of the women in the room who walks over to take a look. En medio de una reunión. Some viewers thought perhaps the glass moved due to condensation on the table. However, others are not so sure, believing this to be the work of a mischievous poltergeist, a type of spirit that's said to be able to manipulate objects in the physical world. So is this just a case of simple condensation or something more mysterious? Take a look at the footage again and decide for yourself. In this video, Reddit user Brick Whimsy seems to have captured something eerie on camera. The camera holder walks through an unknown and seemingly abandoned hospital. As they film the dark and empty hallways, something unnerving happens. Take a look. As you can see, a curtain begins to draw all on its own. Clearly frightened, the uploader moves towards the corner in an attempt to check for any person or presence responsible for pulling back the curtain. After making certain that there's no one there, the uploader immediately makes a run for it, ending the video then and there. While it's easy to see why the uploader would have been so freaked out, both the uploader and viewer are left questioning just what it was that moved the curtain. 
The video has prompted much discussion on Reddit, with most comments agreeing that the video is beyond creepy. Sadly, the OP hasn't given an update or told anyone where it was filmed, so for now this clip will have to remain a mystery. Visiting locations rich in history, especially going back to prehistoric times, is a thrill for many. The number of exciting events or happenings that may have occurred in these areas make for plenty of interesting stories and memories. At the same time, ancient places have the potential to showcase things or figures that aren't expected, such as with Reddit user Motorbiker1985's photo taken in a ruin in Scotland. The black and white photograph shows a ruin with an open window frame. In the middle of the window, we can immediately see what appears to be a normal human face. Though, upon closer inspection, we can see that the figure's skin seems slightly transparent, and a mist appears to surround him or her. Viewers can also see that the figure is not connected to a body. Reddit user Motorbiker1985 snapped this picture near a prehistoric burial ground a common hotspot for ghosts, spirits or otherworldly entities. He remains positive that this picture is not a case of double exposure, as the clarity of the face is quite sharp. Some other Reddit users brought up the possibility of it simply being another person. Still, others pointed out that this isn't possible as there's no body to match the face. So, could this be a complicated trick from the camera, or could this entity be someone visiting from beyond the grave? Back in 2009, employees of a Dollar General store in the United States began to suspect that something might be haunting their shop. One morning, the manager opened the store and discovered that a crate of soda had been flipped over and liquid had been spilled everywhere. Confused, the manager checked the in-store CCTV security cameras to see what had happened. What he saw was truly bizarre. Take a look. Okay. Oh my gosh. See it? In the clip, you can see that the crate flips up into the air. Just in front of the stack of drinks, there appears to be a white shape. Right there, it seems to appear out of nowhere, right as the crate flies up into the air. See the case of coke flying? Mm -hmm. Can't see it on there. Mm -hmm. Clear. Well, yeah, shows up the manager isn't sure exactly what this is, but it's definitely weird. While a lot of people said it looks like a ghost flips the crate over, there might be a more down-to-earth explanation here. One keen-eyed viewer said it's possible that it's all a trick of perspective. If you slow it down, it looks like one of the bottles of soda explodes, causing the crate to flip up and over, and that the alleged strange white figure is actually the liquid exploding from the bottle. But what do you think? Exploding soda or an angry ghost? Drop your opinions on this one down below. Oh See it? The Menga Hotel in San Antonio, Texas has a long and bloody history, and it's often referred to as one of the most haunted hotels in the United States. The area is notorious for ghost sightings, harking back to its heritage as a military compound and political prison. Disembodied battle cries are often reported by tourists visiting the area. Soldiers in 19th century attire have been spotted, only to disappear moments later. Even visions of monks in robes have been haunting this blood-soaked property for years. The Manga Hotel is famous for being the place where Theodore Roosevelt recruited men to fight for him in the Spanish-American War. Hotel staff have reported all sorts of strange paranormal happenings, such as objects inexplicably flying across the room. Others also claim to have seen the spirit of Roosevelt himself sitting at the bar after hours. One of our viewers, Chewy Lazoya, recently participated in one of the hotel's notorious ghost tours. While walking around, soaking in the history, the tour guide said to take a lot of photos, just in case something paranormal might happen. 
and so Lazoya did, but didn't think much of it. That was until they got home and reviewed the pictures. Here's the photo that freaked them out. At first, nothing seems too out of place. But take a look at the mirror on the right hand side of the photo. There appears to be a dark figure in the reflection. The figure is shadow like with a grey skeletal face. Naturally, this image freaked a lot of viewers out on our Facebook group. However, a lot of comments were confused by the reflection itself. It looks distorted and seems to be reflecting another mirror on an angle that seems impossible. This strange detail led many to think that the photo had been photoshopped. This also raised our own suspicions, so we ran some filters over the image to see what's going on. Here you can see a noise analysis filter. In most cases, this filter can detect when an image has been manipulated in Photoshop. As you can see, it doesn't show any signs of being altered in any way. We then applied a luminance gradient filter which shows how light sources interact with the image. Here we can see that there is indeed something in the mirror. However, the figure is indented as though the light isn't interacting properly. This doesn't mean it's photoshopped, it means that whatever's reflected in the mirror seems to be devoid of light altogether. Eerily, this isn't the only ghost photo we've been sent from the Manga Hotel. A few years ago, a fan of ours known as Johnny sent this picture in claiming he'd captured the spirit of an old monk. If you look in the top left hand corner of the image, you can see a black entity that appears to be wearing a robe. The figure is hunched, yet partially see-through and almost looks like it's hovering. So then, is the Manga Hotel really haunted? Given its bloody history, the haunting reports from staff and patrons and now these strange images, it certainly does make you wonder whether this old hotel really is harbouring something paranormal. Perhaps the spirits of those who died here long ago. This next one comes from the Instagram account Strange Activities. The footage was captured by a camera mounted on a boat in the Baltic Sea. Take a look at what's been captured. As you can see, a strange black object speeds from left to right. Here it is zoomed in and slowed down. It looks like it has two prongs and appears to be somewhat transparent. Whatever it is, it seems to just disappear into the densely forested coastline. Some commenters have noted that the object just doesn't quite look right, suggesting that the footage has been edited with CGI. But others are saying this could be an experimental military craft or even be alien in nature. As with most UFO sightings, the footage quality is poor, so it's difficult to make any strong conclusions as to what this might be. Again, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think's been captured here? Share your theories down below. Some spooky security footage captured at a discount supermarket in the United States has left viewers asking the question, are ghosts real? In mid-September 2022, CCTV footage at a Dollar General store in Humansville, Missouri captured a strange apparition in one of the offices. The footage was uploaded to YouTube by the Humansville Paranormal Society. Take a look. At around 2am, the mist-like shape moves from left to right in the back office of the store. It appears, then disappears, leaving no trace whatsoever. The OP's wife Katrina used to work at the store. She claims she used to hear all kinds of eerie sounds, including the freezer doors banging closed when there was no one else around. 
Humansville has a long history, and the site where this Dollar General store now sits used to be an old water tower, the base of which is still present on the property. The town is small, with a population of just over 1,000 people. For years, residents have been reporting strange sightings and eerie experiences in Humansville. One of the most reportedly haunted areas is up at the old Elliott Farm, not far from Simrel Cemetery, about nine miles west of downtown Humansville. Some locals say that the property is not only haunted, but that it permeates evil. An urban legend says that the former owner of the farm was a cruel and wicked man who would torture animals. One night, after getting into an argument with his brother, he burnt down their barn, which was full of horses, just to teach him a lesson. Months later, the farm owner went missing. His family and local townsfolk led a search party, but there was no sign of him anywhere. Finally, after days of exhaustive searches, they discovered both he and his horse lying dead in a field miles from the farm. No one knows what happened or what he was doing in such a rural part of the neighbouring farm. Some say a curse or evil presence played a hand in his death. So could Humansville really be haunted? If this CCTV footage is anything to go by, then perhaps the urban legends are true and a deep paranormal energy really is clinging to this old town. With the region stemming back hundreds of thousands of years and many civilizations, it's no wonder that Italy is filled with supposedly haunted areas. Some of the most haunted places are castles that were initially constructed hundreds of years ago, including the infamous castle of Monclieri. Reddit user Macis Fatchum shared one eerie picture taken in the castle by a Carabinieri officer that has many internet users both puzzled and creeped out. In the picture, viewers see what looks like a long hallway leading to a room in the back, with one woman walking towards the end of the hall. To the left of the door of the room at the end stands a mysterious figure that appears to be wearing grey clothing, has a white face, and is looking dead on at the camera. The first structure of what eventually would turn into Monclieri Castle was built in the year 1100. It wasn't until the 1500s that the structure was turned into a castle, where it went on to see plenty of royal and historical figures. As the castle's history extends so far back, many who see the picture don't doubt that this figure could be a ghost or spirit who continues to live on in the castle to this very day. Love to get your thoughts on this mysterious figure in the comments section below. This next freaky little clip was uploaded to YouTube by Carrie E. In February 2021, the uploader's home security system captured an anomaly moving through their living room. Take a look at what the camera saw. It didn't even pick up that motion. The camera, which turns on when motion is detected, captures a strange black shadow moving through the room. It didn't even pick up that motion. Once the figure leaves the side of the camera, the system changes from night vision to full colour, as though it's trying to capture the object properly. It didn't even pick up that motion. The homeowner has no idea what this thing is, but asks whether it could be a shadow person. When it comes to the paranormal, one of the most popular topics are shadow people. But what are they exactly? Shadow people have often been described as dark, human-like figures that are often seen in fleeting moments out the corner of our eyes. Some say they're ghosts or spirits, while others believe they're extraterrestrial beings or even entities from other dimensions. There is no definitive answer, but that doesn't stop people from wondering. There have been many reports of shadow people over the years, with some even claiming they've seen them multiple times. One thing that is consistent in these accounts is that the shadow people are always dark and lack any facial features. This has led many to believe that they might actually just be shadows or perhaps hallucinations caused by a lack of sleep. But there's no scientific explanation for why they've been seen by so many people and why the accounts are all so similar. So could this be video evidence that shadow people really do exist? Or is there another way to explain this strange sighting? 
Share your theories with one another in the comments down below. It didn't even pick up that motion. Children are a source of joy for many around the world, with their laughter and play infectious to those around them. But what about when the joy is replaced by fear? Reddit user Uncle Hobbs provided a picture that may show the latter. The picture shows a young boy whose face has been blurred out, looking at the camera. Right above him is a bone-chilling, translucent, yellowish presence, with two eyes, a nose and a mouth, looking at the camera. Many photography enthusiasts chimed in, believing that this photo is simply a case of double exposure or motion blur caused by the camera. Still, other commenters state that the figure looks like an entity that has attached itself onto the young child. Either way, the presence of the additional figure is certainly not something to be joyous about. Our last entry comes from one of our viewers, Chris Piers. He submitted a rather eerie image to our Facebook group, which creeped a lot of viewers out. The photo was captured by Piers' girlfriend's pet cam. On the right, you can see a rather concerned looking dog. On the left, you can see a dark shadowy figure lurking in the doorway. If you brighten the image up, you can see that the figure's arm looks to be transparent. We ran another noise filter over this one as well, and you can see that the image doesn't seem to have been tampered with. The luminance gradient filter confirms that there is indeed something there. You can see a possible arm covering the edge of the doorway. There even seems to be what looks like the top of a head. What makes this image even more creepy is that Piers said that the dog is deaf and blind. Yet, it looks as though the pooch can sense something nearby. Many paranormal experts believe that animals have a heightened sense for the paranormal. And judging by this photo, it certainly seems that this dog is sensing something off about the room. Piers confirmed that the image irked him so much that he's keeping his distance from the house for the time being. Many commenters thought the figure must be a shadow figure, but some even suggested it could be a genuine intruder coming into the home. But then, if it were a burglar, why is their arm somewhat transparent in the image? Love to hear your take on this one in the comments section down below. Now, if you want to watch some more scary video clips, then watch that episode on the top there. Otherwise, there's a massive playlist there you can binge on. Leave us a comment down below, smash that thumbs up button, and that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <gasps>